And welcome back. So we had mostly sunny skies through most of the day, but more clouds are working their way in right now. We have stayed on the cool side with highs only into the upper 30s, and we've since fallen back to 34 degrees in North Platte. It does feel like 30 degrees with that south southwesterly wind around 5 miles per hour. Here's a look at the temperatures across the region. So some cooler air into our western counties, Imperial and Ogallala, into the mid to upper 20s, but lower 30s out toward Valentine and Thedford, lower to mid 30s out toward Broken Bow and Lexington, with the winds flipping around to a southerly direction, but they are pretty light, still around 5 to 10 miles per hour. But that's the beginning of warmer air that's going to filter in over the next couple of days. Then we're tracking a winter storm already issued from Lincoln County and points off to the north and west. We do have that winter storm watch. It does go into effect at midnight central time on Monday, lasting all the way through noon on Tuesday. We're tracking a system that could give us uh, a good amount of snow, but also could mix with some rain, sleet, or even some ice. Here's a look at the Doppler radar, mainly clear skies from North Platte and points off to the east, and we're tracking a band of clouds that's going to make its way and already into our western counties, and we think that most of us are going to be partly to mostly cloudy as we go through the rest of the evening. A little bit of a warm front making its way through. High pressure to our south is going to take charge of our forecast, and that wind is going to flip around to a southerly direction over the next couple of days, but this low that's just uh, approaching the coast is going to give us some uh, wintry weather as we finish out the weekend and start next week. So here's what it looks like first. High pressure to our south in charge of our forecast, so we will warm up nicely. We're going to keep that southerly wind as we make our way through uh, Saturday and for the first part of Sunday. This is uh, Sunday around midnight. You can already see some rain or some snow showers into the panhandle, maybe into the sand hills. We should stay dry until the late evening on Sunday, and then we do have that rain and snow mix through the day on Monday that we're going to keep our eyes on. So first off, here's a look at the skycast, mainly uh, mainly cloudy skies this evening, but that southerly wind could warm us up a couple more degrees into the lower 30s before falling back into the lower 20s for lows. We do have a chance of some rain or snow showers, mainly in the panhandle. We think that's going to dissipate by tomorrow morning. So uh, we're, as we make our way through your afternoon on Saturday, we will have mostly clear to even partly cloudy skies up north. That should get us into the mid 40s, though, for high temperatures. And then we cloud up some uh, rain or snow showers in the sand hills for the daylight hours on Sunday. We stay mainly dry until Sunday evening when that system starts to work its way in. Sunday's highs are going to be into the lower 40s, so we stay on the warm side. Here's a look at the long range. So the low is going to stay over the Rockies as we make our way through the weekend, and it's going to settle just off to our south. This is Monday around 3 p.m. Finally, the rain and the snow will start to make its way into our viewing area. So the heaviest snow is going to be into the sand hills out toward the panhandle, and we're going to keep an eye on where that rain snow line is. It could be around the North Platte area with less snow and more rain south and east of North Platte. The uh, precipitation will continue as we go through the rest of Monday and should stay, start to taper off by early Tuesday. And then after that, the low will work its way away from us. We will round out next week with mainly clear skies and uh, temperatures will stay on the cool side but no really frigid air working its way in as we stay mainly dry. So low to mid 40s, increasing clouds as we make our way through the weekend. And there's that rain-snow mix on Monday with high temperatures near the freezing mark, tapering off by Tuesday. And then we're back to partly cloudy skies, lower 30s on Wednesday, mid 30s on Thursday, mostly sunny, and partly cloudy skies for the day on Friday and making it into the upper 30s. Lindsay? Looks like it's going to be a nice weekend to start out the new year, and then we're right back to the snow. Yeah, really nice weekend ahead, so enjoy it. And then we're going to pick up more moisture Monday to Tuesday. Well, I know I am planning on enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Justin. Today, a Nebraska company expanded a recall of alfalfa sprouts after 15 cases of salmonella were linked to the food. Sun Sprouts Enterprises of Fremont doubled its recall that was first announced this past Thursday. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has reported that there were 15 confirmed cases in which people became ill, adding that two people were hospitalized. In total, six 